They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. This is the most enduring passage of any war poem recited on Remembrance Sunday and Armistice Day. The fourth verse of the famous work, For the Fallen, will bring a tear to the eye of many former servicemen and their families as they remember a much missed comrade or loved one. The words are poignant, sad and reverential in equal measures, and it is little wonder that they have stirred the emotions of so many people over the past century. Although many people will know the identity of the poet, Lawrence Binion, few will know how he came to write the four lines or where he was when he penned them. Binion, unlike many other great war poets, including John McRae, Siegfried Sassoon and Wilfred Owen, had not served his country. At that time, he had never experienced the horror of the trenches. Yet he wrote these four memorable lines little more than a month into the First World War while holidaying in North Cornwall. When Binion was inspired to write his poem, he was sitting on a remote headland somewhere between Pentire Point, where I'm now standing, and the Rumps, which is just a few hundred yards to my left. He was 45 and too old for military service. Clergyman's son, Lawrence Binion, who was born in Lancaster, was a Quaker and a pacifist. He apparently realised early in the Great War quite how dreadful global conflict was going to be, and perhaps that it could eventually claim millions of lives. His poem was first published by the Times newspaper on September the 21st, 1914. At this time in northern France, the British Expeditionary Force had already suffered heavy casualties in early fighting with Germany. The two sides had clashed heavily at the Battle of Mons on August the 23rd and during the retreat from Mons. The two armies had fought again during the Battle of Le Cateau in late August and at the First Battle of the Marne in early September. Despite the severity of these battles, Nobody expected the fighting to last for the next four years. Today, a plaque dedicated in 2003 marks the area where Binion was sitting when he wrote his famous lines. Having visited here for the first time, I can confirm it is both beautiful and inspirational, especially in the warm autumn sunshine. When Binion was interviewed in August 1939 to mark his 70th birthday, he said, I was set down out of doors on a cliff in Polzeth, Cornwall. The stanza, They Shall Grow Not Old, was written first and dictated the rhythmical movement of the whole poem. In fact, Binion went on to write a further six verses of the poem that are not widely known. Eventually, Binion did get to the front line. In 1915, he volunteered to work at a British hospital for French soldiers, taking up the role of an orderly. He returned in the following year to care for soldiers taken from the Verdun battlefield. After the war, he was appointed the keeper of the prints and drawings department at the British Museum. He continued to write poems, including some pen during the Second World War. Binion died in a nursing home in Reading in March 1943, aged 73. On Armistice Day 1985, he was one of 16 great war poets commemorated in Westminster Abbey's Poets' Corner. As the words of Binion's best-known war poem are recited on Sunday, I will be reminded of the clifftop inspiration for the words that we, as a nation, have used to remember the fallen for more than a century. <laughs>